Okay, so what I'm going to talk to you about today is Gravity Forms. Uh, there's been a number of form plugins over the years, but this one uh, by far is the easiest to use and has the best features. It's not perfect, and with any plugin, uh, when you want something, usually you've got to make a few diff uh, a few uh, compromises, and you, you do so with contact forms as well. But it is very good. It takes a little bit of setting up, but once it's set up, away you go. So it's called Gravity Forms. You can purchase it for a single license, or you can get a developer license and um, and trial it over a, a, a you know a, a developer license and and uh, offer it to all of your clients. So anyway. Once you've installed Gravity Forms and you've uh, put your license code in um, and activated it, you'll see on the left hand side, you'll see a forms area, okay? So basically here we've already created two forms for Javala, which is a holistic uh, uh, cooking uh, website um, and holistic uh, uh, training for wellness and all that stuff. Okay, so. Um, I've got permission to, to show you this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this one. This is quite a big form. I'm going to show you how I edited, or how I created this form. Okay. So basically, um, depending on what you require, you can you get all of these different options. Okay. Um, and what, basically what you do, you'll end up with something blank, just like this to begin with, that you can edit. And you name the form there, and you can put in a little description there. And usually, and with each one, they've got some advancings. But out of the box, it'll work fine for most users. Okay. So, if you wanted to add this name field, all you would do is go to the advanced field and click on name, and you, you'll see it appear there. And then you can do things like, I, I, this is a required field that people must fill in. Okay. Um, and you can have street addresses. You can have simple street addresses. Um, you can have more uh, more complex ones. There's all these different address types you can also choose from. Okay, so you just basically click keep clicking. So let's just pretend that we're going to we need a, we need to create a new form. Um, I'm just going to update that form because there's a little error I, I found in it. However, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new form. Okay. And you'll see what happens when I create a new form. See? So I'm going to call this one uh, Cooking Classes Form. Application Form, I should say. Okay. Okay. Now, obviously, I'll probably edit a little bit of that to, to make it more uh, closely aligned to what the... Oh, Coking. That, that's a completely different... Uh, a completely different uh, type of uh, class. Okay, so the, the first thing you, the, the basics you always need is the person's name. See how I clicked it and then it appeared there? And you want to make that required, that people are required to fill these forms in, okay? Then um, name, phone, there you go, there it appears. I'm going to make this one, uh, I'm always going to change that to international format unless it's a local US business, you don't want to have a, a, as a basic format because if you don't fill it in correctly, it'll let you know. And then email, again, I'm going to make that um, required. Uh, so we've got f the name, phone, email, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little drop down. Okay? Now with this website, they've got a, different, a few different cooking classes. So I'm going to have a look at what the cooking classes are. But you'll see the drop down, you get the first choice, second choice, third class, the third choice. So this one here is the wake up to wellness cooking class. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to put this in there. I don't need, it doesn't need a cooking class, which you already know. Wake up to wellness, and we're going to have um, vegan munchies cooking class. Okay, and there's no third choice for this at the moment. And what I'm going to call this is uh, class. What class are these people uh, applying for? Okay. And then finally, what I want to do is because a lot of people have questions. So I'm going to have um, uh, 
a message thing. Now you can also, if you've got, uh, and I, I can't remember if this has got the catch bar installed, but we'll see in a second. No, it isn't installed, so I can delete that. Okay, so that form now is ready to go. And what I do is I click Save Form. Okay, and then I'm going to set up net email notifications. Now, out of the box, the emails will go to the people, um, to the administrators of the website. But if, if, if somebody, if you want to reply to an email that you get from a form, you want to set something up so it's a lot easier for you. So when you reply, it's going to reply to the name of the person and reply to the email of that person. Okay? Um, you can also have a responder. So when the user submits it, it sends them an email. Um, but basically, that's pretty much it. You can also have a number of people, um, a number of people uh, receiving the email. Okay, um, and so you can have separated by commas. You can put all the email addresses of the people you want to receive the, the email. Okay, um, you can even BCC them if you wanted to go that far. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and you've created a form. Now, a smart thing to do is if you want to create multiple forms. Well, what you do is, if you've already set everything up and you just want to ch change a few things, you just click on Duplicate, and they can duplicate that form. So now I'm going to show you how we can actually integrate it inside a post or a page. So I'm going to go to this page, the Vegan Cooking Classes page, and I'm going to click on Edit. Then there's Sherry Strong, who looks like she's about to choke somebody. Okay, so book now by completing the form below. If I could type or spell correctly, there we go. And then what I do is I go space, space, and then I click on this little icon here for the forms. Cooking classes form, insert the form, and then update it. Now when I, went to, when I go to look at that post, you'll notice that that form is inside the post. There we go. Easy peasy Japanesey. Thank you.